the uh, MRMW Berlin is getting to the end of the day along with Kristen. Would you like to give an introduction to yourself? Uh, sure, I'm the uh, president and team of Decipher and I'm uh, based in the US. And what does your company do? Can you tell me a bit about that? Uh, yeah, Decipher is a uh, technology and market research services company. So we license our beacon uh, survey software and reporting platform. And then we also have a services based division that sort of functions as the operational arm for, um, for big brands and market research firms. If, so, if somebody sees you in the conference or they see the interview, what would be the best way of getting hold of you? Uh, Twitter is probably the best way. Yeah, my Twitter handle is at Kristen Luck, so you can tweet me or send a um, message me on Twitter, um, or you can reach me at Kristen at decipherinc.com. Okay, brilliant. And what have you got to watch today? What have you, uh... you know, I, I kind of got here late in the day, so I missed a few of the, um, of the presentations earlier on in the day, but uh, I was excited that the very first presentation I saw, which was by a lovely woman um, from Moscow, actually quoted some of the Cypher's data in her presentation yeah. on yeah, mobile survey. <laughs> Um, uh, mobile web usage. So um, it was a brilliant presentation. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so there was a, a really compelling uh, presentation on breakoff rates, which I think is really relevant to mobile. I think that's what a lot of us are looking at is, you know, how do we keep respondents engaged um, on in mobile surveys and, and across all platforms, really. And what I think that's interesting because it was the people have so many sort of messages and um, notifications and things that bombard right. them all the time. So, right. so do you have an answer to that? How? Well, I'm going to be talking on cross-platform data integration uh, tomorrow. Uh, you know, a lot of what we do at Decipher is really think about cross-platform capabilities and. Um, you know, really how do we connect with respondents in the most meaningful way. And even at the conference today, you know, I'm looking around the room and there was a guy sitting across from me that literally had a phablet, a tablet, his laptop, and a, and a Blackberry going all at the same time. So, you know, cross-platform, you know, is, is heavy in the B2B space, but I think even more so, you know, in the in that consumer space, we see a lot of that as well. I think I've me so even that when people are using the mobile or watching TV, it turns out, it turns out to be it's the mobile that's the primary thing that they're right. paying attention to. Right, so one of the things I'm gonna talk about tomorrow is multi-screening or screen okay. stacking. And I don't know if you saw, there was a, um, a really interesting study that came out by TNS, TNS's Connected Life Survey. And one of the interesting stats that came out of that was that 50% of evening television viewers are doing some other task on another device while they're watching evening TV. So they're checking their email or they're on social media. And certainly I see that behavior in my own life. And I think that's, you know, that's a real testament to how powerful all these platforms are in terms of how they collaborate and work together. I just have an interest, but an interest uh, an opinion on like wearable technology. That's something I've been yeah, curious about. Yeah, you to... know, I'm, I'm looking forward to see, seeing some presentations on that. I mean, I'm uh, I'm pretty addicted to my Nike Fit Band. I'm, I'm yeah. obsessed with how many steps I'm taking a day and how many fuel points I have. Um, you know, I think I think wearables is just another form of passive data collection that is really be becoming powerful in our industry. And does it fall under mobile, or is it a separate? You know what? I, you know, I don't, it's mobile in the fact that you're out, but I think it more falls into this whole concept of the Internet of Things, the IoT, which is all of these devices and things that we're interacting with on a day-to-day -day basis that are tracking our behavior or what we're doing without us really having to engage with it. And I, and I think that that's something we really need to focus on as an industry. Is it's not just about this primary research data anymore, but it's about you know how do we also bring in all this passively collected data because there's a ton of it coming in now. Okay, brilliant. Um, and what time is your talk tomorrow? It's at 11.20 tomorrow. German time. German time. <laughs> no one wants to miss it. It's going to be amazing. Brilliant. Well, thanks very much for doing that. <laughs> Thank you. It's fantastic. Yeah.